But once I've got the patient to a level of safe oxygenation, I can then convert this to a Melka kit. So the Melka kit is essentially a wire. The Melka kit itself is a dilator and the tracheostomy device here as well. And this allows you to pass this over the wire and then you know, railroad it across with a Seldinger technique into the trachea. It doesn't take too many centimeters to be in the trachea, so even four centimeters in is absolutely fine. At which point I then very carefully take the 14 gauge cannula off. At this point, I need to widen the incision. So I have the scalpel alongside my wire, pointing the blade down. I just make an incision. So past the wire, you always wanna see the wire before you start your motion. Now there's a number of different grips you can use, but the most important thing is all of these three devices are held together. Pass it through and make sure it's inserted into the trachea. I then take the wire and the dilator on mass out. And once that's in, I take my Liddell bag and I start test ventilating.